Greetings all and welcome to Dave's Craft Room. On today's video, we will be working with this box of Crayola fabric by Riley Blake. My mom sent this to me and it is stunningly gorgeous. First of all, it did not come from the manufacturer ripped like this. I think my mom did that when she mailed it to me. It came from the manufacturer perfectly fine, but we don't care about the box, we care about the fabric. Look at it, these are like crayons. So there's two, four, six, eight, ten fat quarters. I think it's a fat quarter. Yeah, it says ten fat quarters on it. And the colors are so vibrant. I have an idea for what I'm going to do. Let me show you my Quiltspiration notebook. Where is it? This is my Quiltspiration book. It's where I put ideas that I cut out of magazines or print off the computer. And um, the quilt I'm gonna make out of this fabric is in here. I also saw a YouTube video on it. Oh, here it is. This is the one. I like it because it has curves but not curves, you know what I mean? It's the illusion of curves. I'm just gonna make, um, like, I'm gonna put lights and darks together, but this is what I'm gonna do with it. <clears throat> okay, so first things first, I'm gonna um, wash all the fabric. I believe in pre-washing. I very rarely work with solids. Matter of fact, almost never, certainly not only solids, but, uh, this is gonna be fun, this quilt is gonna be sickening. So let's go, let's wash the fabric, let's do it. Okay guys, so I'm back. I have the fabric here and I've made a test block, one. A um, Couple of issues. The first thing is the pattern calls for doing 14 inch squares. But however, an 18 by uh, 22 inch fat quarter would only yield one. So that's really not gonna work. So what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna cut 10 inch squares. And that gets me two squares out of each fat quarter. So two blocks of this size, which this is like, this is seven and a half inches. So ultimately seven inches. Um, and we're only gonna get 20 out of the crayon box, but I have here my personal stash. So here we go. First step is to get two fat quarters and cut them in half. I'm just gonna go like this and kind of finger press it. And then I can very easily And then we're just gonna do 10 inches. So there we have, this will make two blocks. I'm just gonna do one at a time, but, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna do three inches Two inches, one and a half, yeah, one and a half, one and a half, and one inch. I cut it ever so slightly too small, but that's okay. I think it will still be okay. And then we go like this. We separate them into every other one of the colors, if that makes sense. Like this. Oops. Like that. Then we are going to sew this together real quick. So 
So that's pretty simple, right? And then we just do it again. And then we put it on top of each other and cut it again. As you can see, this is exactly how you generate two blocks. Every time you do it, you make two blocks. And we just sew this together. That's really all there is to it. So that's really it. Um, as I was sewing this block, I flipped the seam over the opposite way so that they would nest and they do nest now. So that's fine. And uh, this block will be just kind of the opposite colors of this one. And then the whole thing together is gonna have an illusion of curves, I hope. So we are going to um, sew the rest of these blocks up. All right, and I will check back in whenever that's done.
After I completed the individual blocks, I sewed them into four patches using two pairs of coordinating colored blocks. Then I was deciding on a layout on my design wall when I realized that I had only made enough blocks to make a square quilt, which I was not happy with because I wanted a rectangular quilt. And I still had some scraps from the Crayola fabric, so I could potentially make more, but I really didn't feel like making any more blocks at that time. I didn't really know what to do about it, so I just considered it a problem for another day. And in the meantime, I continued working on the layout. I also had these really cute AF patches that I decided to add on to add some additional interest. Well guys, as I go along doing it, I'm just not happy with the square shape of it. Um, although I didn't want to do this because I wanted to be done, but I felt like I have no choice other than to make 16 more blocks. Four more of the four patch squares. And so that's what I'm gonna do. I do have some scraps of the Crayola fabric left, so we're gonna use mostly the Crayola fabric. I think I will have used like all the Crayola fabric. So I'm going to do that today and I will check back in when that's done. That's better. So we are done with the quilt top. I am very pleased with the way it turned out. The colors are so bright and vibrant and I like this um, added interest of the little patches that I added. I'm glad that I decided to add an additional row on the bottom because I was not happy with the square shape of it if it was going to be a square. This is the shape I prefer. So um, what I'm going to do next is get a batting and a backing. I have had three yards of this forever. I'm going to have to use this very busy plaid patchwork. This blue for the binding. All right, I'm going to do it. I'll check back. I'm going to machine quilt today. I realize. I'm thinking a very simple Probably just straight lines. I'm not going to do anything special for the quilt team because I don't feel like it. And the name came to me. I'll tell you the name at the end when it's all done. Okay, so I'll check back in. I'll be doing the quilting, everything else like that, next. So that's all for today's video. Thank you, lovely. McIntyre is finished. He is beautiful and lovely. And thank you for watching.